And for more, I'm now joined by Mario Diaz. He is an award-winning documentary filmmaker and editor. And actually, uh, Mario, we just watched your documentary over the weekend on ESPN about the Hernandez brothers. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Sure. Happy opening day. <laughs> Same to you. I bet it was a good one for you. Well, I wanted to start with this question uh, about Cuban baseball players. How much of a motivator do you think it is, this relaxing of relations that we're seeing between U.S. and Cuba for these Cuban baseball players, especially athletes? I think, it, <clears throat> I think it's a great incentive. Um, these guys are, uh, the, you know, they grow up uh, revering uh, baseball players who have actually gone uh, over to, uh, to, the, to MLB and become great stars um you know s baseball is a great great sport in um in cuba and i think that you know everyone wants to everyone who has an interest in the sport really wants to go and and prove their medal so to speak uh in the major leagues so i think it's going to be um you know it's going to be very exciting to see uh all these new players come along um you know we've had an explosion of them recently but i think that um if if the uh, if relations continue, you know, to improve, um, you know, we'll see a lot more. And one of the benefits of this thawing of relations so far is that Cuban players don't have to get this, uh, don't have to get a license anymore from the U.S. government to play. What do you think of that step? Is that a big step forward or just a formality from the past? I think that that's always been a formality. I think that players who were able to actually make it to our shores, um, uh, you know, and, and they actually proved that they could be great baseball players, always found a way uh, to sign with a team. The teams also uh, found a way uh, to get them uh, a residency in the United States um, or in other countries uh, as a way to circumvent, um, you know, that, uh, the, the, some, of, some of the restrictions put in place by the Treasury uh, Department. Mm -hmm. So I think, it's, uh, I think it's a formality. I think, I think what, the ML, what uh, the Major League Baseball is trying to do is to sort of go along with the administration in trying to, uh, I think it's a, it's a gesture of goodwill um, to, to show that they are also willing to, um, um, you know, they, 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 they're willing to, um, you know, go along with what the administration um, is doing in Cuba. Tell me, um, you know, you did this documentary on the Hernandez brothers, um, and, and you're basically saying where there's a will, there's a way. How much of a factor does right. their personal story and others like them have in bringing more Cuban players um, into the MLB, attracting them to Major League Baseball? Well, one of the things that uh, I think is interesting about Cuba and having, having been there is that, um, you know, b baseball permeates every aspect of life there. Uh, you see Major League Baseball games in bars in Cuba. Um, you know, some of the games are, are broadcast there. Um, and also, you know, the, uh, the people follow them. You know, people follow the stats. It's such a big thing down there. I mean, uh, Cuba has, of course, a very, very, very good local league, but, uh, but everyone follows what they're, you know, what these players like El Duque um, and Levan Hernandez and, um, you know, throughout history, what these Cuban players have done in, in the major leagues. And so, um, you know, it's a big, it's a big source of pride for them. So uh, I think that, that every Cuban baseball player uh, really wants to, you know, uh, try and make it to the big leagues. It's a, it's, a, it's a big incentive and it's very exciting to them. Big dream, for sure. Well, some of these teams, right. especially the Red Sox, they've been talking about playing an exhibition game in Cuba. What do you think the chances of that are and what would that do for the Cuban economy, Cuban baseball even? Well, people forget that there was a there was a, an exhibition between uh, the Orioles, uh, Baltimore Orioles, and uh, a local team uh, by the name of the Industriales uh, in 1999, and it was very successful. Um, you know, the, there was one game played here in in Baltimore, and there was one play one game played in Havana, um, and it was really exciting. And we saw that there was we, uh, you know, all of us fans, baseball fans, felt that there was something. Uh, uh, really special about this sort of bringing together these two cultures, you know. Um, and I think that if the M if MLB wants to go through with it, I think it'll be a great thing. And I think that um, um, you know uh, fans uh, there and here 
uh, will tune in. And also, I think if if um, restrictions are, are, you know, if it's easier for the the average fan to go down there, mm -hmm. I think that the, the tourism industry will, you know, can only benefit from from such a from such an event. Yeah, I would think it would be a, a great boon to the tourism industry in Cuba if you've got um, more more access to all of these baseball fans in the United States able to come down and, and see it from the stands, not on television. Right. I mean, there, there's been talk in some quarters about, you know, possibly uh, an actual team in Havana. Uh, so, you know, who knows? Uh, it's exciting. Thank you, Mario. We'll have to leave it there, I'm afraid. Mario Diaz, documentary filmmaker and editor, joining us there live from L.A.